Hey you guys, welcome back. In this episode, we're talking about washing cars in the winter. And before we get started, I'm getting out there to get the car a little bit dirty. Let's go check it out. Well, that was way too much fun. <laughs> awesome. All right, so I think the car's dirty enough now to warrant a wash. Now, I am sure that this video is gonna be a little bit, I don't know, I wouldn't say controversial, maybe a little contentious in places. Um, but, you know, I'll be honest, I pretty much know nothing about how to wash a car. I mean, I'll just come out and say it. I've watched some videos, you know, I've listened to advice from friends, and I feel like I can wash my car safely. And, and what I mean by that is, you know, not running myself over, but I mean, you know, being able to do it in such a way that I'm not gonna like really damage the paint or ruin, you know, ruin the paintwork. Um, so, you know, first off, I never take it through a car wash that has the brushes no car wash brush will ever touch my car. In emergencies, and I consider the winter emergencies, <laughs> I will take it to the touchless car washes where nothing touches your car apart from the water and the suds they use to clean it. And uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, but, you know, let's, a couple of shout outs first. Matt Mormon, Obsessed Garage. You want to know anything about detailing cars and car detailing products? Go check out, check out his channel. Also, um, Ammo NYC. He has a huge following online, and he seems like a really nice guy. He is absolutely an expert. I, it would actually blow my mind a little bit to put him and Matt from Obsessed Garage in the same video. That would be super cool. Obsessed Garage. Um, Matt has his own line of products and recommends other products that he likes. Uh, he sells his towels and that sort of stuff, and I've got a bunch of different towels from Matt. Um, Ammo has uh, his own line of uh, Ammo NYC, I think it is, uh, cleaning products. I've got a couple of those. But to be perfectly honest with you, I'm a little bit afraid of using them because I'm not entirely sure what they are, and I'm not entirely sure how to apply them. So I just have a very kind of you know, basic outlook at washing the car. And, you know, what I'm looking for basically is advice. Now, I've got a couple of challenges or a couple of maybe relatively unique factors in my situation, at least for the winter. Um, here in Minneapolis and uh, in, in the Twin Cities, this whole area of the Midwest, they put a lot of salt on the roads, which is one of the reasons why a lot of guys with these kind of cars don't want to drive them in the winter because they don't want the rust and you know all of the corrosion that comes with uh, that kind of um, you know that kind of environment and climate. Totally fine. I've heard though, you know, if you if you take good care of your car and you wash it properly, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and get all that stuff off, it really isn't too much of a problem, especially if you're not driving it every day. And I'm not daily driving my 911, so. You know, my kind of recipe is to basically just go to the touchless wash, 
get all of the gunk off and really take advantage of the undercarriage, you know, uh, there's an Austin Powers joke there, I'm sure. <laughs> a good scrub of my undercarriage uh, before, you know, going back to the garage and then sort of finishing off the detailing process. So in this video, we're gonna head over to the car wash right now. Uh, I'm gonna take the car through the touchless car wash and then I'm gonna go back to my uh, house, which is like a quarter of a mile away, um, and we'll finish up the conversation about what I do with washing my car in winter there. Let's go check it out. Hey guys, so we're back in the auto amateur garage and in this segment uh, of the video, I'm gonna be talking around uh, how I wash my car during the winter um, and uh, you know, just talk you through my thought process. Uh, but you know, really the purpose of this video isn't to educate, it's really just to share my perspective on what I do. And I mentioned earlier, I'm a complete novice when it comes to cleaning cars um, to the point where I'll often ask a, uh, a company to come around called Watch This Detailing to actually just care of, take care of all my cars for me um, and they'll clean and, and detail them pop uh, properly. But I do really enjoy doing this myself, especially when I've got a bit of time on my hands when the kids are napping. Uh, so, you know, again, I thought maybe this could be a great video to make. Uh, it could be a really bad video to make, opening a huge can of worms. I saw uh, poor old Nick Murray did a, a video where he quickly washed his car in the winter um, and used one towel, I think, and it took him like 10 minutes and he got berated by loads of folks online. But to, be fair, to be fair to Nick, he's got paint protection film on his entire car, or he did before he gave it away. Um, but anyway, I welcome feedback and comments as ever. So um, I'm really looking forward to you guys commenting below and telling me the products you use and any hints and tips that, that I can apply to, to my washing. So first off, you can see that the car now isn't particularly dirty. During the winter months, um, you know, you go out even just a single day and you come back and your car is absolutely filthy. All of the, the snow and the ice melts a little bit during the day and the dirt and the debris from the cars sort of all gets mushed together. And especially when it gets a bit wet in the afternoons, it can get really wet and sloppy. And you get home and your car, you know, it looks like you've been off-roading sometimes. So even when I go out just once, I usually know that I'm gonna be having to at least come back to my garage and do a no rinse wash or do a bit more of a, an in-depth clean, which is what I'm doing today. So. After my drive around earlier, I went to the hy V, which is my local um, garage, and they've got a, a touchless wash. And uh, I go through there and basically just use that as a starting point. And it, you know, it blasts uh, all of the dirt off. Um, it does a couple of different types of rinses, but most importantly for me, it gets under the car and washes all of the car. So I usually come out and the wheel arches are clean. You know, there's no snow caked up in there. There's no ice caked up in there. And then before I leave and come home, I'll pull out one of my towels and I'll give it a quick dry. Because even though I live relatively close to the garage, um, 
I don't want the water droplets sort of sitting on the car um, any longer than they have to. But I know that once I get home, I'll still probably need to do a little bit of a touch up um, because I'll pick up some more stuff from the road um, and then, you know, have to continue my, my detailing back here. But at least I'm not starting from scratch. And I can see here already that just from opening the garage door and coming back in, uh, <laughs> I've picked up a few droplets. So let's talk through the products that I use during the winter um, and some of this stuff I use in the summer as well. Um, I generally break them up into categories. So I've got um, products to wash the exterior of the car. I've got products to clean and dress the rims and the tires. I've got a product to clean the glass. And then for the interior, I've got products to clean the leather and condition the leather, wipe down it in an emergency if I need to, and then other products to detail the rest of the car. And then I have a couple of different types of microfiber cloths uh, to use in the different scenarios. I think apart from this one, which I, I just picked up at a gas station, I think, um, or an auto zone, the rest of these are all from Matt Mormon. Um, and he has different, uh, different towels for different types. So let's go through each one. Um, for the winter, this is the uh, product that I use. This was a gift actually from a friend, Mario. Um, this is a no rinse wash and shine. So you can clean and shine and protect in one step. Um, essentially, it means that you don't need to use your hose and your buckets. Um, you can put this product in some water, the appropriate volumes, um, proportions, and then you can just go ahead, spray down your car and clean away the dirt without uh, damaging your paint. Um, during the summer months, I actually use a Porsche OEM um, car shampoo uh, in the buckets with the pressure washer and, and sort of wash it the proper way. Um, I know there are loads of other products out there um, and everyone has their favorites and some people talk about the benefits of the ceramic or the semi-ceramic kind of products. I'm not going to try and attempt to talk about any of that. Um, just go to Obsessed Garage or Ammo NYC and you'll, you'll learn everything you uh, could possibly uh, absorb on the subject. For tires, um, I've got Jet Black Superior Tire Cleaner for the rims um, and uh, the, um, the tire coat. This, uh, sorry, this is tire cleaner and, um, and tire coat. I've actually got wheel cleaner somewhere uh, for the rims, but anyway, that's for another day. Um, and then I use these, these uh, towels and only these towels to wash um, the wheels. So I know that the, the black and the gray towels are for the wheels. On the glass, just basic armor all, auto glass cleaner. Um, on the interior, I've got the Porsche OEM leather conditioner and leather cleaner, um, which I, you know, put a little bit on these interior uh, microfiber towels and I can clean the leather down first and then condition it. Um, I usually keep these in the trunk and, uh, you know, just in case I need to quickly grab a wipe if I spill something, quickly clean it up, or if I'm going to a car show or something and I just want to quickly wipe down the surfaces of the leather to make them shine, I'll do that. Um, and then for the, uh, the rest of the interior, the plastic parts and so on, um, the leatherette, um, I've got cleaning wipes and then detailing wipes. I'm really not sure about the Armor Roll products and whether they're you know, good or bad, blah, blah, blah. Um, I just know they work pretty well for my purposes. Um, but for all of this, I'd love to know what you guys use out there in your garages. Um, please let me know. So first off, turn off the heater there for a second because it's pretty loud. So first off, uh, I use this no rinse wash, wash and shine. Um, there are directions on the side for how much to put into water. So what I usually do is just have a little handheld squirter here, of course, um, like I'm sure all of you guys have. A little bit of no, uh, no rinse wash um, water. Some people say that I should be using distilled water as opposed to just tap water. Um, that's to me kind of like showering in Evian water, um, which <laughs> I'm not sure is just completely ridiculous, bad for the environment, I don't know what, but um, maybe, okay, fine. Maybe it doesn't have uh, all of the min minerals and whatever that might leave watermarks on the car. I'm not so sure. As it happens, I'm just using tap water here today with the, with the no rinse. So what I usually do is have a number of these towels 
and I have sort of, I use one towel on each quarter. So I'm not reusing the same towel all over the car and picking up dirt and crud um, from one spot and, and sort of building it up and building it up in the towel and then putting it into the clear coat as I continue to, to move around the car. Uh, now I've only got a couple of spots here to touch up after today's wash. So I probably don't need more than one or two, but I can see already, um, where was it? Are we? So like down here, for example, on the side of the wheel arch. Give it a good soak. And then I usually take it down with one side and then fold it over. So I'm using a fresh part of the towel and just take it down again and then fold it into quarters again. So I'm hopefully taking dirt away and then folding it up in the towel. Looking online on YouTube, there are so many perspectives out there for how to wash your car, um, you know, and the products to use. And it, honestly, I just get confused. I honestly just get totally confused uh, because, you know, who do you trust? Um, you know, I'm not a chemical guy. I'm not an engineer. Um, I know really nothing about the chemicals that are in these uh, in these um, products. Uh, but you know, the more and more I've watched videos online, the more I've come to trust uh, Matt Mormon uh, from Obsessed Garage and Ammo NYC. They really seem to know what they're talking about. You know, I think the number of subscribers they have sort of speak for themselves. Ammo has over a million. I don't know what Matt's tracking now on Obsessed Garage, but uh, it, it's a lot. Anyway, uh, so the wash, uh, the rinseless wash, I, I will go around and touch up as much as I need to, which either the, the, the touchless wash didn't get um, or uh, I picked up on the way back. The other thing I'll do is grab another towel. Once I've finished the wash, so I finished the, using the, uh, the, the, the rinse and shine, I'll take a brand new towel now, and the areas that I cleaned, I'll then go over them just with a dry towel, because that makes sure that, you know, there are no more marks there, but it also helps to bring out the shine. Um, you know, part of what's in that product um, isn't just to clean, it's to actually bring a little bit of shine onto your car as well. Now, as I mentioned for the tires, um, I use this Jet Black product, um, and I'm not gonna get into it too much today because it's a bit messy, frankly, and <laughs> I haven't got all that stuff out from my, my cupboard. Um, but I use this on the tires and uh, it, it, it does a pretty good job. Um, it comes out looking really good. In fact, let's just do one tire, give it a go. I mean, already they kind of look back to brand new. And again, I'll probably use just one towel per wheel um, or per tire, so I'm not tracking dirt from, from place to place. Now, let me get my rim cleaner. So here's the other products I use, uh, Armor All Extreme Wheel and Tire Cleaner. So you can use this on both. I like the Jet Black products because I, I guess I just like the idea of my, uh, <laughs> of my wheels being super black again. 
but I find that this tire cleaner is, uh, sorry, this wheel cleaner is really effective for these, these rims. Now I think you can actually get away with a lot with these uh, satin platinum rims because they're a pretty, <laughs> I guess they're not, I wouldn't say they're dull, but you know, they're kind of camouflage with the dirt. I can sometimes get away without cleaning my rims at all after going through the wash and you know they can I don't think I'd win a car competition or anything like that but to the average eye on the street you can get away with quite a lot with this particular color and even though it look it's been washed and I rinsed it with water again there's still there's still dirt coming off these tires so I keep trying to fold the cloth to keep the dirt away from the next area that I'm moving to. And I also like to try and um, remember, I don't always remember to do this, but I like to try and remember uh, to spray the product on the towel as opposed to on the vehicle. Because as I go from um, sort of place to place, um, I don't want to start spraying product on an area I finished and then have to go back and wipe it up again. Uh, sometimes if they're really that dirty, I will do that. Um, but I sort of uh, just prefer to do it this way. I can also sort of see how much product I'm using then if I'm spraying it into a small area as opposed to sort of scattergun approach and putting it everywhere. So there you go, pretty clean already. Just finish it off. They're such nice wheels. I really like these OEM wheels. Now, glass, of course, is pretty straightforward. Um, there are a variety of glass cleaning products. Uh, you can buy the wipes. Oh, this is running out. I'm gonna to need to get some more soon. You can buy wipes uh, and actually have some in there. Um, I quite like using a rag uh, on its own as opposed to the wipes. You know, you can wash it and reuse it again. Um, the, thing I'm, the thing that I really like about this Armor Oil product is uh, it doesn't leave any streaks. I've used some products before and uh, you know, it doesn't matter what type of towel you use or uh, you know, how hard you rub, it, there are still streaks. That just drives me absolutely crazy. There's a lot to be said though about spending a bit of time with your car, taking care of it like this. It's quite therapeutic in many ways. Even if, um, you know, even if within about five minutes of taking it back out on the car tomorrow, <laughs> back out on the road tomorrow, it's just gonna get really dirty and screwed up. But I don't know, I think this is just part of being a car enthusiast. You really enjoy, you know, spending time with the, the objects that captivate your creativity and captivate your imagination. Could be a football team, could be, you know, art or drawing or reading, building a cabin. In my case, it's always been playing with machinery, especially cars. In fact, okay, this is a very nice luxury Porsche 911, but I actually used to spend this time uh, with my Ford Fiesta, my 1990 Popular Plus 1.1 liter. I mean, when I had that and I was 17, 18 years old, that was, that was a luxury car to me. You know, <laughs> I would, I would uh, wash and clean that thing every weekend. I was so proud to drive that thing around. I don't know how many horses it had, but it probably wasn't a lot. <laughs> Well, that's it for another video, guys. Thanks for bearing with me while I walked around and talked your ear off as I was cleaning my car. Um, I'd be really interested to know what anybody else uses for their cars, especially during the winter. Um, I'd love to get the power washer out and uh, to give it a good wash at home, but as soon as that water drains out underneath the, the garage door, it just turns into a skating rink out there and it makes it pretty dangerous. 
Um, so let me know, uh, what products do you use? What tools do you use? How often do you clean your car in the winter? Of course, all of this is gonna change for me in a couple of weeks when I get the wrap put on the car. I'm gonna to have to figure out how to take care of that properly. Um, I won't be able to use the, touch, uh, the, um, the touchless wash anymore at the garage, I, I don't think. Um, but anyway, how do you take care of wraps? What do you do with your cars? Let me know. I'll see you in the next video soon. Take care, bye.